सो लाइक वाइज इफ यू कैन विजुअलाइज आफ्टर डूइंग सम मेडिटेशन और रिलैक्सेशन दैट आई एम इन द क्लास रूम टीचर इज आस्किंग द क्वेश्चन आई एम रिप्लाइंग वेरी कॉन्फिडेंटली एंड टीचर इज ऑल्सो वेरी हैप्पी Hello friends welcome back to Light of Knowledge we are continuing a series called Ask Me Anything and we are literally asking you to ask us anything that you have a problem a question that you have in your mind and we will do our very best to answer it today with us we have amazing doctor dr girish patel who is not only a psychotherapist and an author but a world renowned speaker as well and we are fortunate to have him in the studio with us welcome to the show sir hello sir uh we have spoken about different aspects of problems related to mind mm. uh, related to uh, you know social aspects related to studies for kids uh and now there is one such question that i wanted to talk to you about yeah, that we received yes definitely so the question is that i am a first year mbba student from the time i started my mbba course i started being afraid of everything regarding education and i lost self confidence too mm-hmm. i'm afraid to go to classes and practicals not because of the blood or anything that he sees there but because of the professors mm-hmm. i'm afraid that they are going to ask me a question and i'll not be able to answer it mm-hmm. i was never like this i did very good in my high school and intermediate too my education is also affected now I'm not able to adjust to my surroundings. People around me feel I feel weird around them. Earlier you, I was what, what he feels? Weird. Weird about. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Earlier I was always surrounded by my parents or my best friends. They directed me whenever I took a wrong step. But now the people around me want me to fail. I mean the people around me right now. Mm-hmm. What can be done in this scenario? Okay. Yeah, the whole situation, if we see, like you no, know, to come to perfect conclusion, we need to speak to the person or even relatives, if possible. I will tell you why. The part of fear of professor is possible. Like you no, know, it is normal. We have to overcome. You no, know? do something about it. that belief also that they might ask something which he or she doesn't know so that also can be true but this part the last part that they want me to fail mm. so that we need to verify honestly speaking correct he or she might have that confidence that they want but if we can talk to relatives somewhere if possible even those friends or whomsoever is around then we can come to a conclusion that whether it is a wrong per- perception to or to an extent at least it is a reality correct then they would say that it's absolutely wrong correct such thing is not at all there so it's just a false assumption ha uh-huh. then the diagnosis changes totally oh, okay but when person says that no definitely they want me to fail that shows something like not a different sort of illness okay okay so we should verify all this let us now know because person is not in front of us so think about phobia that probably it's a fear that teachers are going to ask some unusual question which he or she won't be able to answer then what to do correct so now here definitely there is a possibilities but he should think that in past i was very good in high school even in college i was good so now also i can be good right one no technical fact if i want to share to get admission into mbbs is little difficult but to pass is very easy oh okay right now also i think no when we were studying results used to be 95% rarely somebody would fail oh, admission wow. was very difficult because those paid seats were not there at all you have to go on merit 
So no, those who went on merit, most probably the very few might fail. Right. Like no CA and there are courses yeah. where admission is easy. Correct. But passing is very difficult right. because One, those results are 10%, 15%. So it's very difficult there. Correct. So no one, this is a sort of a technical fact. If he can prepare his mind, let's say even if they ask, let me study a little more, which would help me? Even if it's a fear, even what we call no wrong thinking, as a wrong thinking, he may be magnifying. So if he thinks that even if I am magnifying, let me study more. So rather he would get more marks than others because he would be putting more efforts in studies. Right. And suppose if they ask, then generally students won't make fun because Correct. they even know. When it used to happen with us right now, I am recalling. Like in second MBBS, a professor would take us into wards and no practical patient. The patient, he would describe this, this and then, then out of suppose eight of us are there. Then professor will tell one that you examine and then present this case. Okay, so that is definitely a fear because we are new students. We don't know much. And then no, we are attempting. So mostly nobody would come forward. But the pers the student who will come forward, there is a big advantage. The advantage is maybe 90% is going to make mistake. But when he makes mistakes and professor corrects him, then he will remember it forever. Right, because he's practically done it. Yeah, even I did so many times. I, I found this out that yes, this helps. Also, no, maybe he's going to scold or to an extent, no other students might laugh. Correct. But then you have examined that mistake has been shown and explained. So forever you would remember. Correct. I did so many times like that. Nice. Even others will say, Girish, you go, go, tell him, tell him <laughs> like that. No? Nice. Yeah. So now one aspect he was asking is that in, until a certain point of time, there were his parents and his uh, seniors or his family mm -hmm. who used to support him in making decisions. True. Now maybe he's all by himself mm -hmm. living in a hostel. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, he's studying and he's feeling that there is no support. True. True. Or I might make a wrong decision. That's True. the fear. Mm -hmm. So how to overcome this fear? Well, wonderful. Here what can be done is he may become more friendly with students who are supportive. Okay. And if somebody tries to search, there will be some students who are supportive. So if he's close to those students, then it's very easy. Or maybe every day now mobiles are there. Every day he can speak to his parents. Correct. That this, 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 what happened? And how do I handle? And they would say something. Correct. Because otherwise also, say if it is in the same town, if he's going to the medical college, then at least in the college is of his own. Only when he comes back, he can speak to his parents. Right. So let him do the same thing over phone. Right. Or no, nowadays video calls are there. So okay. half an hour he can spend with his parents or maybe sibling somebody who is a bit supportive. Sure. So um, would there be a possibility for him that, you know, he makes a certain decision and he learns from it, even if it's the wrong decision. Yeah, yeah, very much. Without his parents' support. Could there be a possibility that... But, he, but he, let, let him share. Let him share. At times that this is that they might have a feeling that we might make a huge mistake. Correct. So if that sort of a thing is there, let him you know, ask parents, even in decision making. Okay. Now, only thing is, earlier he was spending lot of time with parents. 
Right. Now he can't spend that much time with parents. Correct. Where another approach has to be that is this age. He must be at least 17, 18. So now at this age, he should become independent. Correct. To an extent, at least independent. And if that surrounding like friends and all are not very supportive, then can look for a little bit of something, you know, changing a friend bit. Or even in such environment, if he can take that environment as a challenge, then he would progress further. Beautiful. Beautiful. Because, say, now it's a college. Later on, if he takes up a job also, there is going to be some different environment. Correct. Their other colleagues and seniors may not be that supportive. Correct. So, he should come out of that sort of a feeling of maybe inferiority or lack of self-confidence, self-esteem. Right. So, you know, those aspects, he must come out of it. So, doctor, what can be done if there is a lack of self-confidence and if the one doesn't believe in himself or herself that I'll make a right decision or even could be, you know, day-to-day -day tasks. Like I have met students uh, you know, in my uh, journey of coaching them that at certain point in time, even if it is buying a book mm. or filling up a form, they are not able to do it mm. or just going to a bank and opening an account, they are not able to do it. Mm -hmm. Because somewhere the parents actually gave them everything until that point mm. and now everything is coming on them. Mm. So, uh, what should be done in this scenario to increase one's self-confidence? True. As a matter of fact, prevention is again best thing. Correct. That when they are very small, small, small responsibility should be given. Right. Like, you no, know, go and buy something or take this decision. Somewhere, you no, know, go and fill the form also. As a parent, we might be there, but let child do those things. And that increases their confidence. Uh -huh, their confidence. But still, suppose no, that had happened now. Right. So, past is past. So, still what he can do is that let me prepare. Let me muster the courage. And even if teacher asks such questions, and if I'm not able to answer, and then maybe, you know, some other reactions, still think that it is good that in future I will not make mistake. Right. I might prepare myself better. Correct. Don't become too much emotional. Beautiful. If you're too much emotional that no, 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 everything must go right, which is never possible. Correct. Once in a while, you are going to make a mistake. So, the same, like, you no, know, his thoughts or his personality, if he takes in a different perspective, then he might prepare better. Correct. So, uh, one aspect is that he also has the fear of failure. Hmm. Uh, this reminds me of a term that I learned in my journey of mm -hmm. when I was salesman, that you need to fail forward. Mm -hmm. The failing forward in the sense that whenever you fail, you learn something from it and then you move forward. Forward, true. So, can he use the similar approach in his yeah, journey? Yeah, of know, one wonderful thing that if you fail, you will progress. Correct. Fail forward. So the definition of failure needs to like change, change in his mind. Mm. That failure means progress sometimes as well. No, it is always. Okay. Only thing we have to learn out of it. Correct. Suppose as you said in cells, if somebody failed, if you start labeling that I'm a failure, I'm a failure, I'm always going to fail, then it is bad. Correct. But if he thinks that let me find out what went wrong. Maybe my body language was not good, my confidence what was not good, I did not pursue enough, whatever. Right. And if he changes in future, then success will be there. True, true, mm. true. Still at times, no, no is possible. So true. If we talk of sales, suppose, no, if you are selling insurance policies, say, that whatever convincing thing if you tell, there are people who are definitely it is that no, I don't want. Correct. So you can't. But if you keep trying, no can be converted into yes. Correct. So no, we need to put enough effort. 
Correct. Generally, what happens? One thing is, if you put enough effort, then they might get logic that why I should buy this particular item. Correct. Then, in final analysis, when you pursue, there are few who might agree. You know, in order to at least to get relief. Yeah, we, we somebody is pursuing so much. Yeah, we were told that you need to hear seven no's before you hear one yes. Yes, from uh, from one person. But don't give up. Don't give up. The actual art of a salesperson is how to convert that no into yes. Correct. <laughs> so if you don't give up, success rate would really increase. True. So uh, coming back to this young gentleman, he. Is trying to you know overcome this fear of failure mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or overcome this journey of uh, you know low self confidence. What are some tools or techniques that he can use? Another powerful thing can be that if he can practice some visualization. Okay. Like say for example the visualization. It is said that brain doesn't understand difference between reality and imagination. Correct. For brain even imagination is real. Right. It has been proven through various research studies. Correct. So likewise, if he can visualize after doing some meditation or relaxation that I am in the classroom, teacher is asking the question. I am replying very confidently and teacher is also very happy and teacher is appreciating. So that way if he visualizes over and over again and again and again. So when he would really face that situation, chances are much more that this program would emerge. Beautiful. Rather than the negative program. Correct. Correct. So that is one of the tools. Hmm. Are there any other tools that he can use on a daily basis? Like another tool can be to increase his confidence. That confidence can be increased through certain affirmations also. Okay. Because this may be his subconscious tendency. Okay. Like you no, know, when we give affirmation to subconscious, the first and foremost is there are three times every day we get in touch with our subconscious. Okay. One is when you are falling asleep. That you no know, last couple of thoughts your subconscious is active. Right. As soon as you wake up, at that time also you are in a semi-sleep stage. Again, your subconscious is active. Right. When after bathing, your subconscious is active. Right. So if we can utilize three three times and give positive affirmations. Now subconscious doesn't understand language. Subconscious understands pictures and emotions. Okay. So negative cannot be picturized. Okay. If he says that I will not be afraid in front of teachers. Then fear will go in. Oh. Picture of fear is coming. Correct. Rather, his affirmation should be, I am confident. Okay. I am answering confidently. I am peaceful when teacher asks question that way. Right. So, no, all positive. That can be picturized. And really, even a create a picture, we would say, Use all the five senses possibly. Right. That no, I am sitting in the classroom. I am on that desk wherever, no, like bench or something. Other students are also there in the surrounding. Teacher is there. There is a blackboard. And then teacher is asking and I am replying that way. Think, create a picture. Even if you could smell that environment. <laughs> If he can hear the voice also, that other students are supportive that mm -hmm. way. Some are always supportive. Some may not be. Yeah. Uh, and finally, you know, like a challenge that I'm going to do it and I'm, I'm going to be a winner. Beautiful. Beautiful. When that part that they don't want me to pass or people surrounding me want me to fail. fail. There also he need to work. Correct. Uh, that even if they won't, I am going to prove it. Sure. Maybe first of all that conviction that why they would want. But even if they won't, I am going to pass. 
I am going to prove that they were wrong. Sure. So, and as I said in the beginning itself, it's too much. You know, now parents need to decide. If it's too much, really an abnormal belief, a sort of a delusion, then he might need some treatment. Okay. So, thank you so much, doctor, for such an amazing insight and the tools and techniques that you gave it to us. I'm sure it will not only help this student, but it will help a number of students who are facing low self-esteem or lack of self-confidence or sometimes just are afraid to fail. Mm. So, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. In the journey of our life, we go through different stages. Going through failure is one stage that will help us to reach to success. That's what we learned from today's episode. So keep watching, keep continuing to share with other people, and we'll see you next time.